but this is too dark for me now. Wah. Everything was different yesterday. Everything was different yesterday. Hi. So welcome to today's video. I think I'm probably gonna go out a bit. I'm a bit scary that up close. Yeah, that's fine. So, Vlogtober week two hasn't gone the way I thought it would. <laughs> I did nothing, absolutely nothing exciting. Absolutely nothing exciting this week. Honestly, I filmed absolutely nothing. So, I thought to make up for that, that I would do a little get ready with me and show you my current makeup routine because I haven't done that in ages. Instead of trying to put a really lacklustre Vlogtober week two together. Um, I thought I would show you my current makeup routine and then add any, oh, sorry, I'm wearing these new H&M, uh, sweatpants and like they just leave crap all over me. Ew. And then I'd show you any vlog footage that I got this week after they get ready with me. Okay. Today is actually 13th of October. I'm filming this at the end of vlog so, but. I'm filming this at the end of Vlogtober week two. Tonight, I think I'm just going to meet, uh, I think I'm just going out with my family and family friends to go eat curry, <laughs> I think. So I'm gonna start doing my makeup and show you what I've been doing. Starting with MAC Fix Plus to Prep and Prime, this shambles of a face. And I'm trying to use a lot to use up um, whatever is left in these two because I've got the new rose one. Let's let that sink in. And next I'm gonna do my first primer which is the Vitamin Enrich Face Base from Bobbi Brown which is this skincare slash makeup product. It hydrates and leaves a really good base for your makeup on top. So when I first started out with this product I got a little travel size which I don't think they sell anymore. Um, so I had to go for the big guy and it lasts for a year which is great because it's going to take me that long to use it up. And then I'm going to go on to my second primer which is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I wear shade 2 and just put this on the places where I'm going to highlight cheekbones, nose, forehead, cupid's bow and chin. Chinny chin chin. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just blend that in. So next is foundation. And usually I just mix my NARS tinted moisturizer um, with my Giorgio Armani Luna Silk. But this is too dark for me now. Wah. So instead I'm gonna mix my Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer with the very last bit of um, Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation that I have in shade three. So I'm gonna mix these together. I'm also gonna need to get a lighter color of this because um, this is my summer shade. Hmm, that actually smells a bit funny. <laughs> it's probably out of date, but one day wearing it won't hurt. So yeah, now I'm gonna use my beauty blender and just blend. Could be dabbing for a while. So <laughs> I'm gonna put on Towie. And be back in a sec. And for concealer, I've been switching between these two, which is the Becca. Oh my god, the name is like worn off. Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer. It's a bit too dark for me now. Classic. And the Laura Mercier Ultra Flawless, Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. It's a bloody long name. So I think I'm going to mix these and try and make something work. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of this one in the inner corners because it is a bit more orange. It'll cancel out the dark areas there. And then I'll use this along here. Um, and then again, be <laughs> beauty blender at the ready. Brightening as well as correcting my under eye circles because I went to bed at three last night so um, I've got a few dark circles going on. Concealer done. Next I'm going to go on to contour and use my Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer in the colour Baked. So many words. 
But for now, I'm just gonna use this. Give myself some uh, shape. <laughs> And now that I have like a bit of cheekbone going on, um, this really like helps them stand out. And this is my favorite thing to do. Oh, do the, the chin line. Hello. Okay, gonna use my <laughs> Mac, I think it's one through seven. It's kind of rubbed off and blend this in. Still can't get over the fact that this smells just like play-doh and now I'm gonna set my face you probably all know the products that I'm gonna use set my face with the hourglass ambient lighting palette my Smashbox fan brush which I should probably replace I've had this for like maybe like six years now Golly God, go all over. Okay, now for the eyes. As usual, I'm gonna start with a crease shade from my Marc Jacobs Glambition palette. Take the shade, Infamous, run it through the crease. Just go in like quite natural with my eyes tonight. Shit, I think I left my pencil brush at my best friend's house. Oh, shit a brick. Tyson, if you're watching, I may have left my little pencil eyeshadow brush, the tiny one, at your house. If you find it, please tell me. And then I'm going to go on top, all over my lid, with the Glossier Lid Star in... Which shade is this? Slip. Quite light and shimmery. Gorgeous! Okay, so curl my lashes, and I'm going to... Go in with the Glossier Lash Slick, the hardest words to say together in the world. And just coat them big time. I think we're done with the lashes. I need to get another lash lift soon because my lashes are really depressed. <laughs> so for brows, all I'm doing is brushing them. Can't be asked to do anything else with them right now. And then we can go in with bronzer and um, I've gone back to my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, fallen back in love with it. So I'm just gonna take this, carve out the cheekbones a little bit more, like that. And I'm gonna switch brushes and bronze my forehead. Yeah. Now I'm gonna blush. Now I'm gonna do my blusher. I don't know what I was trying to say. And I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Blush Palette. Be gentle with it and then it looks really nice. Then just put that on my cheeks. And that's probably all I need. Yeah, it's really, really, really pigmented. Highlight. And I've actually been using the Hourglass Vanish Champagne Flash Highlighter Stick, um, which is this one. And I actually take just this tiny Real Techniques crease brush and go like that and then apply it to my face this way and then I'll take my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush and put that all over that get it all in there and then hit the tops of my cheekbones because they're already really glowy anyway from the Charlotte Tilbury primer I don't need a lot and then I'm going to go back in with the MAC oh we're running low now and for lipstick um, I've actually been using the new Dose of Colours Desi XKT lipstick in Aftermath, which is this really nice cognac kind of colour. I just dab a bit of that on my lips and spread it out on my fingers. See? Really big fan of that lipstick. And then that's it the face pretty much and then I'm gonna sort out my hair it's gonna oh shit <laughs> gonna put in a bit of dry shampoo and then I'm gonna straighten it and curl the ends under okay and that is my hair done this is basically how I've been styling it 
just kind of like curled under. I think it's grown already. I also like to tuck it behind my ears, which is usually how I wear it. So yeah, that is the end of my get ready with me, pretty much. But thank you for watching. So I hope you enjoy this part of the video and stick around for Vlogtober part two. Bye. <laughs>it is the 9th of October. What do I have to update you on? Yesterday literally did nothing. Started to get our kitchen painted so I guess that's it. Um, but I did get a little package today in the post and a while ago I ordered um, one of the new Desi XKT lipsticks from Dose of Colours so that arrived today and I got the colour Aftermath which I've got on my lips right now. Stunning. Um, like this really nice it's like a cognac colour it's gorgeous um, I'm wearing that tonight and with that you also got some Desi and Katie stickers I've already used a few and put them on my laptop um, excuse me sir so I've got a bottle of Don Julio 1942 flying dollar sign um, I'm going out to the pub for tea so that's why I'm all glammed up. Yeah, not much happening this week. Okay, well this night didn't really go as planned. Basically a waste of a makeup. We're getting our kitchen painted at the moment. Like all the cabinets are going like a dark grey. That sound. So today we put the dogs in kennels just for the day because they've been like trapped in one room. And they see my baby Margot, my black lab, came back and she's been like sick all evening because it's so sad. I ended up staying in instead of going out for dinner um, so I could look after my doggy. And then she went really like drowsy and sleepy which she is never like. Honestly, she's like going like 24 seven. She's like sitting in my arms and going like, I was like, oh Jesus Christ. She seems a little bit better now, but <sighs> I'm freaking starving. <laughs> And she's better. The patient's well. Bloody warm today. Feeling better today, Margo. Oh, you were so poorly last night. You were so poorly. Oh, you're so much better, I can tell. Back to your normal self now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, big boy. Oh, big boy. Oh, big boy. What's the best boy? Yeah? Kisses. 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 Oh, Leo. Oh, poor. Good boy. Are you me little pawsy? Yeah. It is 20 more fun degrees right now. Okay, today I'm doing cardio and abs, so oblique crunches, burpees, straight leg, reverse crunch, I think, uh, and ab bicycles, and then commandos. Woo!
It's one of my all-time favourite songs. <laughs> so yesterday was a friggin' nightmare. But good news. Got my new iPhone XS Max in gold. Sexy, right? But it took me a whole day to set it up. Because to restore from a backup from iTunes, I needed the, the brand new Mac software, which I didn't have. And then to do that, I needed to do a backup on the time machine, which I haven't done since 2014. So that took like six hours. Then I came back, needed to download Mac OS Mojave, but I didn't have 20 gig free to do it. So I had to delete all my pictures. I put them on a hard drive first, but I needed to transfer them all to a hard drive and then delete my pictures, then to download Mojave, which took like two hours. Then I tried to restore from an iTunes backup and it had an encrypted password, which I never set. But luckily I backed it up on iCloud. So then I needed Wi-Fi and I had another Wi-Fi password. But then I finally sorted it and my new iPhone is set up. And I've got personal training and I'm really scared. I'm back. Mm. That was so tiring. Oh, I can't even hold my arms up. Okay, so this is now, what day is it? 13th of October. Don't think I've vlogged today yet. Um, but this is carrying on from the get ready with me that I did at the beginning of the video. I'm trying to figure out what to wear. <laughs> and yeah, I'm pretty much almost packed for London now, just gotta finish my toiletries and do my jackets and shoes. It sounds amazing. I feel like I wanna keep my window open all night. Ooh, it's chucking it down. Probably can't even hear me over the rain. My favorite sound ever. So, as you can tell, I'm in London now. Fully unpacked, got everything. Got the umbrella that I'm probably gonna need tomorrow. Hair products. Toiletries. Right now, I'm excited to get in there. 